Well there, people! So if you've been paying attention to a lot of what I've been doing lately, um, basically I've been going back in time, if you will, and check out a lot of compilations. Um, basically there's been like a giant, um, portion of Doom World or whatever showing off compilations now instead of just like regular levels. Um, and while that would be just normal, um, a lot of these end up having a lot of levels in them that we haven't checked out. So, I end up showing off all the new levels or so in these compilations and trying to hunt down the actual individual levels and see what exactly happens. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's led me to yet another compilation. <laughs> um, I, I, this is like, you know, the six or so compilation I've kind of gone through. Um, <laughs> and yeah, this, this one's kind of interesting. Um, in a way, it, it, it kind of basically makes itself out to be an episode, so it doesn't really say it's a compilation from what I kind of skimmed. Um, but it is a compilation because I have seen Helipad mentioned, which wouldn't be part of a um, regular s series because we saw Helipad earlier. Um, other than that, it sounds like a bunch of unfamiliar stuff, though. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be checking out a lot of this series. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's see here. This is basically knee-deep in the DU. Basically, it's made for DU 5.1 testers. It's a new episode made specifically for the release of DU 5.1. Basically, DU 5.1 gets released. This is basically the thing that kind of comes with it to say, um, this is the big pack that showcases all these different cool levels that were made using DU. Which, of course, is the main editor at the time and is what most editors were using. You know, if you really had to talk about one relevant editor, it seems like in this period, of 94 at least, you're pretty much talking DU. Like, Doomcad definitely seems like it's second place, but for the most part, it's DU. That That's really, like, the big one here. So, yeah, let's see here. Um, like I said, this is Knee Deep in DU is the name of the episode, if you will, the compilation. Um... And, as far as I know, the first level of it is exclusive to this. It's, it was made specifically for this compilation. This is the reason why I mentioned the compilation and talking about it here. Because it ties into this first level in particular. Um, which I believe, like I said, was made for this compilation. I haven't seen it anywhere on the internet outside of this compilation. So, yeah, I believe... <laughs> um... If I'm correct, I, I might be totally incorrect and have guessed the wrong thing entirely. But if I'm correct, I believe this level was made particularly for this. Who knows, maybe all of them are. I, I, maybe it ends up being like um, an, an actual episode that people made a bunch of levels for. Because like I said, I don't recognize any of these. Um, but yeah... The, the, the interesting thing is, if you try to, like, look up the name of the WAD, you end up actually finding the episode, um, the actual compilation P-WAD. So that kind of just goes to show you how we're not going to, like, be able to actually, like, um, see anything else or so of this actual P-WAD. This level's probably, like I said, made for this compilation pack right here. So, yeah, unless we end up getting some details later down the road, whereby it ends up getting separated, I'm going to assume it's part of this. Plus, there's a lot of cool stuff um, added to this readme, so I kind of want to read this anyway. The story so far. You sat in front of the computer for hours, trying once again to create a masterpiece of a level. But nothing seems to go correctly. First, the doors don't seem to work. Then, the hollow mirrors appears throughout your level. Stairs seem to be impassable. Lifts don't work right. Demons seem to fire through walls without trouble. Finally, you sigh in frustration and quit the editor. I'll never make this work. I'll just let those other people try making levels. They can do all the work. You think sadly of all the masterpieces you had planned that will now never be completed, but resign yourself to your fate. Zap! There is a blinding flash of green light, and an imp holding a disc appears next to you. 
The imp grins at you. Well, impishly. You stare, stunned. So, you don't know how to make a level, eh? I have right here some levels that you could look at and learn from. They're rather fun ones, too. The imp grins at you. Why don't you pop in this disc and take a look? You narrow your eyes suspiciously. What's the catch? The imp tries to look innocent. Nothing much, really. Just a trifle, only a small fraction of your soul. Or we could make other arrangements if we really want to. You turn away. I'm not that desperate to make a level. You hope the imp will leave. The imp does not oblige you. Instead, he grows angry. He looks like he's about to toss a fireball at you. And you feel like reaching for a shotgun. Instead, the imp halts. No. I have a better idea. I will let you have these levels. On one condition. You survive them first. You shrug. I'm a good Doom player. They can't be that hard. The Imp grins. As Doom levels, no. But, if you truly experience them, he breaks off and laughs evilly. As you wonder what he means, you find yourself enveloping a green glow. The last thing you hear is the Imp, still laughing. You come to and find yourself wearing a Doom-style Marine outfit. Oh no! I'm in the game! You think to yourself. You realize that the only way out is to successfully complete all the levels. The Imp's voice rings out mockingly. So, you want to play with editors, huh? Well, now you're in for it. You're knee-deep in the D.U. Pick up Knee Deep in the D.U., the new episode by D.U. 5.1 Testers. Two, The Architecture of Hell. This episode is intended as a tutorial for DU users, as well as a quick little piece of work to show off the DU testers' making, level making skills. The whole episode is fairly small. It's not intended to require much skill, just be somewhat fun and give you ideas. Besides, if it was that big, the zip file for DU 5.1 would be huge! So just sit back and enjoy the tour of DU's capabilities and level making. All these levels are suitable for single player, cooperative, or deathmatch play at all difficulty settings. They all have some secret places where you can find useful stuff. This intro text was written by Jerry Blackman. The demos were created by the DU beta testers. Information for each level follows. And edited by Steve Behrman and Raphael Quinnett. So, um, yeah, like I said, this is rather mysterious. I'm not exactly sure the full identity of this. Um, this might be all new levels, as in levels that do not exist outside of this pack. Um, th these might be all new levels, even like the Heliparasol might be like a different variant, who knows? Might be like an earlier version he released it separately later on or something. But, as far as I'm assuming, potentially, these could all be new levels. That's basically an entire episode's worth of content. Which is pretty awesome, so, t I mean, it it's kind of funny, I think, it's an episode of content just for DU testers. I mean, this wasn't even designed to be played by normal people, it's made to be d played by builders. But it doesn't sound like they're test maps, it sounds like they're actual official levels. So yeah, it's a really weird scenario. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, I'm just going to go through them, see what exactly happens, and we'll go with it. Yeah, <laughs> um, so yeah, let's, let's just start with level one, um, it is, it's called FSW4, 
and it's made by Cameron Newham. Now, you'll know Cameron Newham as basically the evil puzzle maker. <laughs> yes, he, he's made numerous hell holes for us to deal with. He's made Scream, which no doubt you guys remember. He made Damon 2, which was quite the evil level with a risky cyber demon run across and hopefully don't die. Um, <laughs> yeah, if, if those two were enough, he also made Barrel, you know. Barrel! <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it's three levels worth of ex absolute pain and puzzles. Yeah! And now, he's made this level! Why, why do I get the feeling it's going to be an evil puzzle level? Like, he doesn't make anything but those! Yeah! I mean, like, a camera do new him level that isn't a puzzle level would be rather shocking. So, yeah. Okay! So he's, uh, so Cameron Newham comes from Perth, Western Australia. I don't think we got the information from any of these others. He's Australian! He's Australian and he's evil! We, we now know this. So that's the thing. We now know him and he's now our enemy. <laughs> um, because he creates evil doom levels. So, beware of Australia. They have poisonous stuff over there. Including barrels. Okay, FSW... Small wad. I, I I don't know what that is supposed to mean. I I guess it's supposed to mean F small wad or something. I I, I don't I don't get. It. <laughs> what what's the F stand for? What does the F stand for? It's not Cameron Newham. I I I don't know what F is for. Um, yeah. Good, good job. I have no idea what the, uh, yo, I'm just going to call it FS, yo, FSW4, because that's the only thing that makes sense at this time. Okay. So, let's see here. It's a little level, with a lot of imps, and some fancy stuff, including a turret, and moving floors. It's easy to moderate difficulty. Um, additional credits to Raphael and Steve. I believe Raphael and Steve were the people who made DU for wanting, who wanted demo wad ASAP. So yeah, like I said, this level, at the very least, I don't know about everything else, but I know this level in particular was made as a demo level for DU. The entire point of this was to basically create something that you could see and say, wow, this was made at DU. So yeah, it, it never sounds like it was released individually, even though it's made by the esteemed Cameron Newham, who, like I said, definitely made a bunch of other levels that we know. Um, it sounds like it's a relatively easy level compared to everything else he's made. But, yeah, it sounds like it's a pretty hidden treasure because of how exactly it was kind of set up. You have to dig in the, like I said, you have to actually get the DU 5.1 release in order to find this. So, yeah, it's not exactly the easiest thing to find. <laughs> um, especially since Doom World doesn't even have the DU 5.1 release. So you first have to hunt down that, and then you have to hunt down, yo. Know, like I said, yeah, luckily you can get just the episode pack on Wad Archive, so that kind of works. And it's basically under FSW4 for some reason, instead of Knee Deep and DU, so I have no idea why that is, but hooray for inconsistencies and having it completely wrong. Yeah, that, that's only the first level, that's not the entire episode worth. But okay, <laughs> anyway, as you kind of figure it, but play says E1M1, and... He has single player, but he also has other le uh, types as well. Um, but he says SLB a lot. He says, like, added SLB. I don't know what SLB means. Oh, boy. I, I, I don't even know what that means. What does that acronym mean? Could, could you, like, please explain to me, like, difficulty sentence. Made easier SLB. W what does that mean? What does SLB mean? Why is this everywhere? I looked it up. It says sh Schlumberger Oil. That, that's what he's ma making, right? I, I, I don't know what he's supposed to be by SLB. You know, what is service level benchmarking for water? I don't know. I, I, 
I'm not sure, like... I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I, I don't know what that's like... Yeah, it, it makes no sense, honestly. Good luck! <laughs> I have no idea what SLB means. Is that a file type that he has, like, that for some reason I couldn't find? That I don't see anywhere? I don't know. SLB, that confuses me. Um, maybe someone could shed some light on it. I sure don't. No, let me actually try and look up Doom SLB. Maybe I'll help. If this is driving me nuts, I'd like to know what SLB means. Okay, the government MP says SLB could face more doom and gloom. Yeah, that 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 totally is what is needed. That that that, that definitely is exactly what we're talking about here. We're talking about oil. <laughs> um, yeah, I I don't know. I I don't know, people. It doesn't seem like we can exactly. He, he's either talking about oil or making some acronym that I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> so, um, yeah. He he made this in 5.5 .5 hours and just used DU. He has, didn't use any version like BSP or whatever. Um, so, yeah, you can tell this is like a test level mostly made for DU. Um, might be pretty fancy, though. I mean, it's made by Cameron Newham. And like I said, they're trying to make basically like an actual episode of levels. It's not so much... Um, Test levels from my notes. Relatively easy levels, but not the. Uh, still not exactly the easiest or whatever. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I don't even know anymore. So, uh, yeah, let's see here. Beyond that, um, the, the usual. <laughs> um,. And the interesting thing is that it gives you all the permissions, everything, yo. You may, you, you may use this as a base to build additional levels, but do not claim you created this level. If you create a new level based on this one, please create the original author. Um, so yeah, where to get this wad? It's included with the DU 5.1 distribution. And actually, yeah, if you look at, like, where to get this wad in all of them... They basically say it's included in the DU 5.1 distribution. So, uh, yeah, I'm starting to actually think this is actually its own separate episode of levels that you can't see elsewhere. So, yeah, we'll, we'll check out all these and put it in its own little separate playlist because they're all levels. Levels made uh, just to show you um, DU, DU 5.1. What levels could you see if you download DU 5.1 and obscure it? Well, and not really obscure. The popular editor of choice back in 1994. Yeah, let's load this thing up. I think it has a different end doom screen, but I can't exactly see that. Yeah, you know, because I I can't exactly show that off here, people. There's no way to really see end doom screens, but that's beside the point. Huh. <sighs> 35 enemies. Huh. <sighs> Fascinating. Fascinating indeed. So we're in some little tiny corridor, I see, huh? There's a way forward, there's a way back! What's this way we do? Oh, wow. So this guy's evil. I don't trust this guy at all. I mean, this is, this is the evil guy himself. I mean, you couldn't make a more evil person to make a POD than Cameron Newham. That his name is, like, infamous by this point in the series, I think. Like, every single level that tortures me could really be tied to him. And I'm getting weird cookie noises. Bloody game! I just wanted to have fun! And now all of a sudden you decide to make cookie noises. Click a cuck cuck I tell you, it only happens from playing Doom. Like, if I played Quake or any other game, I wouldn't have these problems. And it, it, it's unstable when it does happen. I really don't know what the problem is. Nobody's ever posted a solution. The guy if I know. Yeah! I shot stuff! It was cool! I felt great doing it! Ooh, I was smart! I, I assumed the wall by the barrels was a secret. Sure enough! What do you know? You know, what if the other one is a secret too now? You know, now that I think about it, this is probably a secret too. Secret? No, I guess I was just good at guessing. 
Hooray! I, I, I took a guess, and I won! I won! Okay. Oh, look, a maze. That, that's totally what we need. How to make a, D, a maze. Feature DU. Okay, here's, here's the wall of the maze. Okay, it's not really a maze. More than a couple of weird rooms. Owie! Could you not shoot me? It's kind of disrespectful. Please don't be disrespectful. I have a shotgun. It's disrespectful to be rude to the shotgun. What the? Okay, well, we found weird rising corridors. Hey! What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Wait, where are you going? Okay. Okay. I'm kind of confused. Did Okay, maybe I should get off this. Okay. Hooray! Another secret! Hooray for these barrels hiding secrets! What, what an awesome and easy trope to figure out! <laughs> Could have been a spam fest, but nope! Just easy secret grabs. Yay, for a simple, easy level to figure out. For once, we're not gonna be going crazy because of a Cameron Newham level. Oh god, oh god! It's a crusher! They gotta move through that quick enough. Can I actually get back? Yes, okay, so it triggers anytime you move away towards that. That's good to know. Well, this is a painful corner! Honestly, sometimes I really wonder how people exactly deal like with a situation like this, would you just like shoot down and automatically like hit them or something like that? Because you couldn't exactly drop down or so because then you're going to be cornered with a bunch of enemies and uh, you know, not able to kill them. And you can't exactly walk over their heads in Manila Doom. I think you just automatically aim down and shoot them, so in a way it's easier and in a way it's harder. But yeah, there's, there's a level. You want to level? Well, this was a level, right? This was rather simple. Yeah, this was really, really simple. Now, I could play the entire level with one thing or so, because it, it's kind of set up that way, but... Uh... I don't want to do that, because the fact of the matter is, it has, like, almost like a separate little, um map things that's like distinctly um has its own little readme files whatever well kind of it's all in the same readme file but it tells you each levels individually so i almost want to start like fresh on each level and just do it that way it makes life simple and at the same time cool anyway that's the first level and of course summarizing the main thing of this level um now we have at least the idea what you're what we're going to be doing for the next few levels Anyway, thank you very much all for watching, people. It has been an adventure. Um, like I said, a very historical adventure because you gotta think, this is the map pack included with DU 5.1. Um, I guess you could say it's like the middle release of like DU. Because DU ended like with 5.2 or whatever. And yeah, DU 5.1 um, over here. And we had this massive pack at the end of April. Which is pretty nice historically, so that we had this whole episode of content to check out. Even if there wasn't, like, other episode p really at the time. Yeah, th this is, like, the only episode p we have seen outside, like, or Bayer's Doom, a compilation p -wad. So, yeah, this was pretty significant. Anyway, I think I'm done here. Thank you very much all for watching. It's been the adventure, and I shall see you all in E1M2, whatever that is. See you then.